welcome to the world of orchids. Uh, let me introduce uh, who I am. I'm Yusuf Hussein. Uh, uh, this is, I'm the owner of this uh, hexagon green uh, orchids, which is located in, uh, in Banting, very close to the airport. And uh, today, what I'm going to do uh, in this series of videos is to ensure that after this, you will find that growing orchid is very easy. It's not difficult. And of course, orchid comes in uh, different forms and different shape. And this is very important to know. There are two basic forms of orchids. Uh, I have in front of me here the two basic form or growth habits of orchids. Uh, here on my uh, left is the multiple stem or scientifically call it the sympodial type and then on my right is the single stem and scientifically called monopodial. Uh, what it means is that monopodial means single stem and the sympodial is a clump or multiple stem and uh, this is a uh, typical of terrestrial orchids because we do have also orchids uh, which on the ground but this is a bit above the ground orchids and uh, if you there are a few questions need to be answered and the popular one is which type is easier to grow oh, but to me uh, both are easy to grow depend on your objective and then how you're going to take care of the plant in the multiple stem, basically you start with a small plant, even the single one you start with a small plant, but you end up uh, various sizes in the multiple stem. You have the small one, medium size, and then you have the big one. While in the single stem, you only have one form. And that particular one start with a small plant and will continue to grow. In fact, it grow very, very tall, even as high as it can grow, maybe 10 feet or more. But in the uh, sympodial type, the plant stop growing after flowering. And then the new one will take over and then will uh, grow higher and bigger and produce more flowers. And, uh, but uh, beside this, I want to show you other types of orchid under the same uh, sympodial form. I will show you this one type we call Oncidium. This is uh, the they call the most popular one called Dendrobium orchids, while this one is the Oncidium orchids. You see here, they are multiple also plants, but the plants are rather uh, grow in clumps or bulbs, and then the plant doesn't go as high as Dendrobium. But still, it is a multiple stem. Uh, that means you end up with lots of plants, small and big plants. There's another one, uh, also multiple stem, it's in podial. This is called the Cattleya, Cattleya orchid, you see the beautiful flower. And uh, same thing, you end up with clumps uh, of uh, plants and you can separate them at the right time. So you can have many plants if you have sympodial plants. You end up with tens or hundreds of plants in about a year or so. So that's, well, in the single one, you always have one plant all the way. And the plants basically will stay on growing if you take care. So uh, that's very easy. The other reason why I like to emphasize that growing uh, orchid plants is easy because they don't need soil. Any plants that don't need soil is very easy to grow, right? So you see, you only need a pot, maybe fill up with charcoal, and that's all. So you don't need the complexity of uh, soil type and other soil factors that can affect your plant growth. Thank you for watching our video on orchids. If you would like to know more about hexagon green and orchid growing, Check out our other videos in the playlist. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Our orchid farm in Banting, Selangor is open on weekdays. We welcome visitors. If you 
if you like what we have seen please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel remember growing orchid is not difficult we have made it easy see you next time Thank you.